Okay, uh, real quick, this is going to be uh, a tutorial on uh, some really cool little jQuery uh, effects. And uh, I got to thank Optical Effects, YouTube user Optical Effects, the guy's great. And uh, he helped me out with the last little bit that I was missing. Uh, this is based on his video on live search. So basically a, a jQuery search function that goes through the entire page, uh, but it doesn't have to loop through all the content it does it when it when the page loads uh, so it's very quick very efficient um, and then also a uh, toggle a jQuery toggle that was another one of his tutorial videos and I kinda combined the two of them uh, basically this is for an internal uh, knowledge base tutorial site for the teachers at the school I'm a network administrator for um, so I'm really really kinda pumped about this and it worked out really well uh, so I'm gonna I'll go over everything for you real quick, um, and uh, this is going to be the download file. Um, I'll put I put everything in here. Uh, this is the div for the search. Um, real simple input string. Uh, type text name class of video search. That's real important because it's going to be uh, this is what the original jQuery live search is going to be keying up on. Okay, and then this is the div HTML for the banner itself and then the search is actually going to be searching on what's here in the quotes so your title um, needs to be here in quotes in lowercase um, so it just needs to match with lowercasing alright so uh, this is the uh, CSS for the rounded borders uh, cube that we're doing that's going to be the toggle um, again it's calling on class box banner is going to be your header that's the first part, and then the box is going to be the lower part. Okay, so each corner will be rounded with a WebKit MozKit. Okay, so um, actually, this should be just Moz. Sorry. But there we go. All right. And then uh, this is the jQuery, your document dot ready, and we'll go through the, go back to the live site, um, and then document dot ready for both of them. This is where I got screwed up, and Optical Effects had to bail me out. <laughs> Thanks, man, appreciate it. Um, so once your document dot ready is declared, uh, this is going to be your toggle function. It's going to work on the box banner, which is the header part, uh, and the box part is actually going to stay hidden until you uh, until the dot click function and then it's going to toggle open and then the second click will toggle it closed okay and that's also included in the file here all right so the whole jQuery string is actually done and I'll, I'll leave that uh, up for download okay and then this is the search function uh, which basically after the document dot ready it's going to act on the video search class which is here Okay, so in the input string, it's going to capture the variable, capture the value that you're putting in on the key up function. All right, so it's going to evaluate this and store it in a value in a variable called search. It's going to retrieve the value and convert it to all lowercase. That's why we need to make sure that your title text is all in lowercase. All right, and then. There we are, right here. Okay, this is going to actually hide once it finds the the variables. Um, once it evaluates the variables, it's going to take all of the box banners and hide it, that it doesn't match. And then once it, actually, this is going to hide them all. Okay, and then this jQuery search string is going to be the search contain string on the title class or actually just on the variable title which is over here title equals all right uh, once it finds it then it will begin to show the variables that match or the uh, banners that actually match okay and then when you're done and it's empty uh, the box banner will bring everything back to showing it full you know it'll show it visible all right so this is real simple uh, you've got the two, the two jQuery calls up here. Your 
loading of the jQuery script. Uh, I'm linking two style sheets here. This is your video search div. Okay, uh, I have the video calls, the embed code actually into the divs in a PHP that I'm including. Uh, makes it a little easier to track the index file. Okay, and we'll take a look at that here. So basically, your box banner div with a title. All right, and then the actual title that's going to be seen on the banner, and then the object embed code. Uh, for me, I'm using screencast.com for this one, but you can use Vimeo or, uh, Viz or uh, excuse me, YouTube or whatever you like in there in the embed code, or you can even embed images in there. Okay, but I'm basically including that in a PHP, just echo, uh, single quote, and then I've got a couple. Of, I've got a comment in here, but uh, basically you can just put your div code in there, close it, close your single quote, and then you should be good to go and it'll bring it right into the HTML the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so let's take a look at it the way it's working. Um, so all of the tutorials are loaded up when you load the screen. They're cached. Alright, and you can search. Alright, and you can see it's very quick. Alright, and you can use the, you can use any uh, sections of the word itself. It'll read through the whole string. All right, so you got to ask um, opt. So it's very effective. Um, right now, we only have a handful of videos on here for the, t you know, for a couple of different categories. But this is going to be real effective when we have, you know, a page full of videos. You know, anywhere from 30 to 40 videos. Uh, we made it easy on the on the teachers trying to browse these rather than have you know different pages and categories and and multiple listings uh, this should be a lot more effective for them and easier to find you know what they're looking for so hope that was helpful and thanks again to optical effects he really bailed me out again <laughs> very good at this stuff so uh, email me with any questions and I'll see what I can do thanks